Hey guys, welcome in. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Tam. I'm here to do a general fire sign reading for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, so it won't resonate for everyone. So please take what you need and throw the rest out. This video is being uploaded to IGTV and YouTube. If you're watching this from YouTube, please like, share, and subscribe because I'm trying to get my numbers up. Um, I'm, changing the, I'm changing the format a little bit. The, this series of readings I'm doing the Oracle first and then I'm going into um, the tarot cards because they all tie in. I kind of want to give a theme of what's getting ready to go down. Okay, so real quick housekeeping. The um, Scorpio full moon was yesterday. We are in the pre-shadow of uh, Venus retrograde, which starts on the 13th and it runs through the 25th. Um, but the post shadow will probably take us somewhere into the middle of July. So this energy is from now until July. So be advised that whatever you are going through right now during this pre shadow, this is kind of the theme of what you're going to be working on um, to heal, fix, revise, review, whatever. Um, that's what this period is for. It is not meant for you to hook up with new people. You don't want to do that because by the time Venus stations direct, you would have changed your mind and those people would be lame. Okay, so but it allows you to an opportunity to revisit and revise and review the things and the ways that you maintain your relationships. Totally essential. Okay, let's get started. Um, the Oracle card I got was a leg up. The lighting is so whack. Okay. Um, receiving help, delegating authority, interdependence. You've come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with who you can give, oh, with who can give you a leg up during this next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to commingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. Relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as you are there for them. This is the time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs and ask for them to be fulfilled. Trust, you will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind though. Ask and it is given. That's awesome. All right, so at the very center of the read, I'm going to just call this out. If you are dealing with, because Taurus is literally the middle of the, the reading. Um, and I've got the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant, literally Taurus. <laughs> uh, I also have Sagittarius on the board. I've got Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So at the very center of the read is the King of Pentacles. I, I feel like this may be, you may be in this energy. If you are, um, you are, you've been working like your, your work, you focus on your money, you're focused on getting your coins up. The bottom of the deck was the four of Pentacles. The overarching energy was the four of wands and the five of cups. So it's kind of weird, like weird conflicting energy. It's like one on one hand, you're somebody is disappointed. Like you're you're feeling left out in the cold. Some both of you, you and a person, someone else is feeling left out in the cold. You are focused on disappointments from the past, probably in regards to a union. A foundation something foundational but you're in regards to a union because four of wands for me is union um and with the higher friend here this could be marriage um a deeper level of commitment but somebody in this union is both of you are feeling left what one is feeling left out in the cold and they're focused on they're focused on this disappointment from the past not realizing that there's two viable cups available right behind them and if you're feeling disappointed and out in the cold, your person is drowning. Your person is back here drowning. While you're busy focusing on this, they're drowning back here. Okay, and then you've got these two cups of love that are viable. This is, that is the reciprocal love that you want. But you're too busy focused on the past. Um, and I see that you've got this closed off energy where it's very... Um, 
and then this also could be the end of this energy or the end of or, or the 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 end of holding on so tightly um i see where you know you felt you felt burdened you felt um betrayed backstabbed like all all like all the bad shit right but with the ten of swords even with this is like this kind of reminds me this guy that's right here with the sword on his on his body it kind of reminds me of the um the four of swords where, where the guy's healing um and i'm just kind of paying attention to the way the swords are laid out on the card so there is healing that's trying to take place and there's the like the death card literally is here and this could be the death not necessarily the death of a marriage say per se but the death of the way that it's been up to this point because with every ending comes a new beginning and i've got new beginnings here um but the end of the way that you've looked at it or the way that you've perceived it because the hierophant is also about tradition it's about um it's about higher levels of commitment but it's about tradition thing the way things have been done forever the, like generationally like it's it's maybe an end end of looking at things that way i see that you've been working on self-mastery you've been working on yourself you've been working like working 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 but you've also been really work focusing spending a little bit more time focused on yourself working on self-mastery i do see where there may have been a love offer at one point um but the love i feel like that love offer was rejected like your taurus was trying to come with a new opportunity or a new situation and you re, you've rejected it this is a new opportunity and you've rejected it you could be very disappointed in this situation i'm kind of focused on the fact that you rejected it but okay um the temperance card is here to balance the situation now this is literally the universe trying to balance it out onto the two of pentacles which is someone juggling this is someone um it's juggling between work and home life it's juggling it, it could be juggling people it could be um but i feel like you're juggling it might be causing you some emotional turmoil but you kind of you can kind of see out you see where things are coming towards you like whatever you've been working towards it's coming towards you but it's like it's still out at a distance um i see too that you made a decision you may have vacillated over this decision uh, where you're going to be in this position soon um to make a decision to walk away from uh the stress and the strife to walk towards healing and um to walk towards a peaceful resolution to walk towards to walk away from the conflict and the mind fuck, okay? So with the Wheel of Fortune, it being a 10 card is also an ending for me. So that's an end of a cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is also a change in direction. And with the Chariot, that is forward movement. That is, that's fast forward movement. You add the Ace of Wands, which is passionate new beginning. And then it ends with victory and success with the Six of Wands. Um, these are external to you. This is external energy, but this is what I'm seeing. Um, I see where they're tired. Your person is tired. Your person is feeling burdened, but they want to bring healing into a situation. I feel like they've chosen you because you are their wish come true. You are their dream come true. And there's fast incoming communication, or there could be some travel. Now that the run is being lifted, the run of uh, things are being lifted certain places. Um, there could be fast incoming communication. There could be travel, plan, back and forth text, back and forth communication. Okay. All right. Chemistry. There's a strong mag oh, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens totally goes with this leg up card and keep an open mind your soulmate may different from differ from your usual type and expectations awesome great read anywho if you would like a personal reading that is more in tune and aligned with your situation um, you could drop me an email at tarotbytam at gmail.com or you can leave a note or a comment below 
and I'll get you on the books. Leave me with your um, contact information and I'll get back to you and we'll get you on the books. Um, I'm usually like three or four, I'm usually like three or four people like on the books already when somebody reaches out. So I knock them out pretty, pretty quickly and I try to do them daily. So I'm knocking out readings every day of the week. Um, for all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Have a really great weekend. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.